the Zim Mining Index not looking particularly promising and the industrials really flat. Is everything a lot to do with the indigenization laws that have been gazetted? Yeah, I would uh, like to confirm that uh, yes, definitely the, the market has been coming off uh, in recent weeks, uh, notably uh, coinciding with the, with the recent pronouncements, I think from some sectors in the government that uh, indigenization was, was, was really around and they, they were going to implement it. Uh, also, you notice that the mining, the mining index has, has been uh, coming off uh, quite, quite significantly, uh, mostly the, the fall coming from Rio Zim. Uh, earlier on during the year, we were expecting a, a rights issue of about 40 million from that counter, mm. but uh, the underwriter has, has pulled off, and mm. uh, that has really uh, affected that, that counter. And as a result, uh, you find that it has been falling and mm. thereby dragging the mining index down. Let's talk about that issue of the deal that's fallen through between the SR Group and Realism. SR had planned to buy 51%, but because of the indigenization laws, they can't do that at the moment. But SR is heavily invested in Zimbabwe. They have made acquisitions at Zisco Steel and other uh, companies within that sector of the industry. Yes, definitely. The, the, the Realism would come in as, as, a, as a supplier. Uh, this was still is a steel manufacturer, so they wanted to, to, to control the, the uh, raw materials uh, resource line. Uh, Riozim would come in and supply the coal, but there's two wange, which they're they also looking at, uh, and other suppliers of coal as well, which they want to, 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 to have secured in order to, to resuscitate those operations at Zisco. I mean, in terms of foreign direct investment that could be lost to the country, has the government started to calibrate that? Because, I mean, SR was a sure thing. Yes, definitely. Uh, earlier on, we had, we had that Euromoney conference, uh, which was highly regarded as successful. But the, 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 the challenge with the, with the country remains that of, of policies. Uh, we, we seem to be inconsistent with our policies, um, uh, especially on the indigenization front. Uh, F, FDI, foreign uh, investors, are really scared of what, of what will, will happen if they invest in the country at the moment, because it's not really clear whether the... the, the 51% that is uh, earmarked for the locals would be paid for. That has been uh, mm -hmm. sort of a drag on, on that front. So FDI has been, has been slow uh, if, if, if at all coming in. All right. We know that today the market has dropped 23% in the past month. Um, but we're still seeing some of the blue chip counters still relatively active. Econet, Delta, DZL. Yes, definitely. Uh, if you look at the, the, the trend in terms of foreign buying, it was um, the highest was in February when about 53% of the buying was from foreign investors. That has come down uh, significantly. That came down significantly in March to 23%. But still, the, the, the foreigners are there. 23% is, is, is small compared to February, but still significant uh, on its own. So we have seen uh, foreign investment continued. Uh, in, in those in those counters, especially IT and, and FMCG, there's still uh, a lot of interest from foreign investors in those counters.